What is going on guys? Welcome everybody back to another video and I know this video is almost 24 hours late and let me explain. If you guys logged on yesterday you will know that this card was not on the game. It actually released it I think like 10pm UK time instead of a 6pm UK time but obviously being in New Zealand I'm 12 hours opposite so I woke up at 6am, 6 in the morning and I loaded up Footbin, saw they released this Shark Wednesday, hopefully I am pronouncing that correctly. Um, I checked my footbin, said he was there, loaded up the game, he wasn't there for me, he wasn't there for lots of people, and I was on like five hours sleep, went to bed, woke up, did what I had to do in a day, and now here we are, lads. So apologies for the late objectives guide, but you guys can blame EA for that. If you guys are new, all we do with these objective guides, we go over all new objectives EA release. I give you guys my tips, tricks, a squad builder, and some in-game examples as well if necessary. If you do have any unanswered questions, then make sure to let me know in the comments, and I'll get back to you ASAP. Let's get into the video. Score four goals using left mid players with at least 80 pace in squad battles on at least semi-pro. Quite self-explanatory, you can do this in rivals as well, but for the sake of the video, we will be focusing our attention on doing this in squad battles. Now, the score four goals using left mid players, if it's a player that has been position modified to left wing and you're playing him in the left mid position, that will not work, okay? On, on his card, it has to say LM, all right? That's the main thing. He can originally be a left wing and then you can position modify him to a left mid, then it'll be absolutely fine and that will indeed count. So just make sure the position on the card is LM. Assist four goals whilst having at least five midfielders in your starting 11. Assist three goals with a through ball using a right mid player's not the correct grammar from EA, but using a right mid player, if I mean to say, in squad battles. Now, to do a through ball or to assist with a through ball, here is an example. To perform a through ball assist, all you have to do is press triangle on the PlayStation. If you are on Xbox, then it would be Y. And all you got to do is do the rest with the person you pass to and hope you score. And using a right mid, exact same goes for the left mid formation, or sorry, not formation, position, LM, as long as it says RM on the actual like card, then you'll be fine. Um, as for the five midfielder, we'll obviously get into the squad builder shortly. You've got score using La Liga players in five separate wins in squad battles. So it looks like this will take you guys five games, and you say each game is 15 minutes long. It is going to take you roughly an hour and 15 minutes, which actually isn't very, that's not a bad time for this card in my opinion. Opinion. Let's go ahead and you see into the squad builder. Right, so this is a squad builder we have come up with. Now you're probably going, Davis plays, mate. What are you doing? There's no center backs. Well, basically, there's no like the league of player requirement on it, if you get what I mean. All right, so you do not need to have like at least five La Liga players, at least seven La Liga players like EA often have done in the past. In fact, we do have seven La Liga players anyway, coincidentally enough. But what I've done is the whole midfield and strikers, I've gone for La Liga. You do just need La Liga goals. You just need to score with a La, with a La Liga player in five separate wins, right? So if anything, you could literally just have to use two La Liga strikers and then have the midfield of your choice if you want. So you don't even have to pay attention to this midfield you could just get a Naki Williams and Correa and then you can search your club for your best center mids cam right mid left mid etc but for the sake of it we're going to play it safe all right better safe than sorry our whole midfield and our whole and our uh, striker partners uh Naki Williams and Correa are all going to be La Liga simply because you're more likely or you're highly likely to score with a striker or a midfielder more so than defenders as I said if you are confident in your ability to score with if you only did have two La Liga players and that's your two strikers if you're confident in that ability or even one La Liga player then all you need to do is you could literally just use your main team and then like sub in a La Liga striker if you really want to o obviously assuming that you're in a formation with at least five midfielders I think it was and a right mid and a left mid speaking of a five midfielder formation three four one two left mid two center mids a cam and a right mid once again making sure our left mid says LM on the card and our right mid says RM on the card this is a lineup we have gone for we've got Naki Williams paired with Correa uh, Robertone as our central cam with Dan Juma as our left mid Lamar and Suji Dada as our two center mids with a man himself who we're actually completing Samuel Chakwize as our right mid once again when it comes to the center backs you just want to put in the best players from your club i know when it comes to chemistry it will be a little bit different not everyone will be on full chem because maybe you're running maybe 
Premier League center backs. In that case, you'll just go from there. That's now up to you. For example, I can go Konate, Thiago Silva, and Saliba. Saliba and Konate would both be on two chemistry. If I'd get one chem point from, say, if I, if I went like this, for example, and got all three of my Prem center backs, just assuming that you guys have a similar, like, similar league, maybe a Premier League, you might have Serie A center backs. As you can see, they're on two chemistry. Silva is on one chem. Then you could maybe switch it up if you want to go for, say, Eduard Mendy in net. Obviously, it's all just down to the center backs it's all just down to the uh the goalkeeper that you've got but this is what i'd personally do right i've just got my normal defense got the premier league players in allison everyone is on full chemistry except silver uh saliba sergi dada and danaki williams so everyone is on at least two chem points and i'll just go from there once again if you are confident in your ability to only score with one or two la liga players up top then that makes your life easy and you can do the same for all of your midfielders and just have them from the premier league uh serie a whichever your main team players are from if that that makes sense but as that does lead me into tip number one now if you are you know substituting some of your main team players for some players like La Liga cheap players like I'm using here then what you will want to pay attention to or what you will want to do is use your super subs you can make up to five super subs this year and not many people know that obviously with a new FIFA or in real life you're you're now allowed to make up to five subs and you can do the same in FIFA 23 so get your five best players on the bench if you're losing if you're struggling you can sub them on for some support tip number two is going to be chemistry styles here is a pre-recorded clip of how chemistry styles work and just breaking it down if you're not sure if you do know how chemistry styles work then feel free to skip ahead 60 seconds chemistry styles in my opinion are so important especially for the lower rated players because it can make them perform a lot better in game for example this card right here he is on zero out of three chemistry points which means I probably wouldn't worry about putting a chemistry style on him because as you can see he gets absolutely no boost whatsoever now, Ryan Kent, on the other hand, is on one out of three chemistry points, which I still think is not so much worth putting a chemistry style because he only gets plus ones on the board, and I think that's just a little bit of a waste. As for players that are two out of three chemistry points or more, though, I do think that is where you're going to want to start getting some chemistry souls on them. For example, Ben Yedda is on two out of three, and he's starting to get some plus twos throughout the board. Therefore, I think all of your players that are at least two out of three chem points, it's worth getting a chemistry style on them. You can do so by going to apply consumable and going over to your chemistry style tab. There you will see all of the chemistry styles in your club. You've got attacking, midfielders, defending one as well. I would avoid using hunters though because you don't really want to use that. It's a little bit, in my opinion, a little bit excessive for objectives. Now, this is a prime example of chemistry styles. Player from Unfal Verde who is on three out of three chemistry points, so the maximum points. As you can see, he's got an engine applied. With this engine attributes boost he goes to 94 pace in game roughly 89 or 90 passing he gets a nice dribbling boost as well so it just goes to show give the chemistry styles on your players i think all of your players that are on at least two chemistry points and it will benefit them in game tip number three lads is going to be custom tactics custom tactics in my opinion is very important because not much people use them in friendly game modes now i'm not going to give you guys some certain custom tactics to use but what i do really like this year is direct passing for balanced and if you do want to edit your attacking and defensive ones as well i do recommend fast build up for attacking and even press after possession loss if you want now as for in game as well if you really do want to change formations you could do that for your like attacking defensive you could start as a 4-3-3 and change in game to a 4-1-2-1-2 second variation something like that you know because so much people in friendly game modes they're going to make a new team they're going to get the requirements requirements and are just going to leave all their custom tactics on balanced they're not going to change the in-game formation they're not going to do player instructions so if you do that yourself it will give you a little bit of an advantage and what you could do is you could copy your custom tactics for your main team something that you're used to if you do not run custom tactics on your main team then there's plenty of videos on youtube i've even got some videos of my own for custom tactics on my own youtube that is a created playlist in my playlist section if you do want to check that out
Now with this, if you do want to change your formation in game, and instead of obviously you have to go into the game, remember, with a 3-4-1-2, but you could change in game to a formation that's a four of a back and then maybe use a super sub to change off a center back, just whatever you're comfortable with. But what I would do with this and changing your custom tactics is changing your custom tactics and then moving your right mid and your left mid to striker if you want to. For example, in game, I could switch Danjuma and Anaki around and then uh, switch Chakwese and Correa around in game and then what I can do is I could sub on Messi at right mid if I wanted to after I'm in the game obviously and then sub on Mo Salah at left mid something like that that way obviously your left mid and your right mid they'll still count as left mid and right mids although they'll be playing striker in game therefore obviously playing striker you get more involved as your right mid and left mid meaning you can get the goals assists whichever you need for those objectives done quicker so I do think custom tactics will be quite beneficial more so not not so much for direct passing and all of that like in-depth stuff and the player instructions because after all it is only semi-pro on squad battles but more so for the fact you can switch your right mid and left mid up in game right and you, you can sort that out in your custom tactics maybe have them on get in behind for instructions if you wish something along those lines once again it will make your left mid and right mid more involved and tip number four slash the squad battles tip. Now this is very important and we go through this every time we have a squad battles objective. But basically you get four different teams every single squad battles reset I guess you can say. Now as you can see 88 rating and 33 chemistry which tells me this is going to be a bloody good team. And yes that is a very good team. Now it is only on semi pro so if you're good at the game you'll be able to play this team on semi pro with no worries whatsoever. But if you do struggle a little bit and I know lots of people say there's no need to refresh it's only semi-pro look there are some people that are very good at foot champs very good at online but are horrible at playing the offline ai let me know if that's you personally i'm i'm i mean i've gone 16 and 2 or 16 and 3 back to back weeks right so i'm okay at foot champs i know my way around online but when it comes to squad battles the maximum i can do is like world class at the absolute maximum even for the hard teams i'd even have to sometimes put on professional right because obviously online offline is completely different so this tip does apply to not only the newbies but this could apply to someone that's just not very good at playing offline but basically as you can see you want to play the worst team 72 rating and 4 chemistry is the worst team in this selection and as you can see it is indeed an absolute dreadful team uh like you've got silver players it's not going to load is it but it's basically a full silver side so you will easily be able to beat this on semi pro now after you're done that you will have an option it's not there for me now because i've not played the game but i will circle where the option was would be after i were to play this game on semi pro when i load back into the game i will have an option at the bottom once again it'll be circled where it would usually pop up and it'll be by pressing square if you're on playstation or x if you're on xbox to refresh your opponents so you can play a game and you have that option every 10 or 15 minutes is the cooldown so that's basically the time it takes to play a game coincidentally enough so you can play the worst team refresh play the worst team, refresh. That is if you don't care about your squad battle points, but you can basically just get it done and obviously five refreshes playing the worst team every single time. It would just be an absolute breeze. You could score five, 10 goals a match, chuck a film on, it'll be incredibly easy because I don't have to say it, but scoring against a four chemistry, 72 rated team will be easier than an 88 rated and 33 chemistry team, right? And if you do go over your 40 match limit, which every time you refresh, obviously that will bump up by four because it's four teams every refresh um if you go over that 40 match limit it still counts towards your objectives it only means you will no longer get points for completing a squad battles game so i would be a little bit wary of that if you are trying to get a good a squad battles rank but if you do not care about your squad battles rank then there'll be no issues with that whatsoever so let's for the objectives overview aka the recap score four goals using left mid players with at least 80 pace in squad battles now once again score four goals using left mids is dan juma in the 3 4 1 2 formation for the example we've gone with as long as it says lm on the card and going back to that custom tactics tip you can move him up to striker in game assist four goals whilst having at least five midfielders the 3 4 1 2 does indeed have at least five midfielders assist three goals with a through ball using a right mid player or bro once again his grammar is so annoying they should get rid of the a or get rid of the s on players right using right mid players or using a right mid player but it's ea sports 
Twitter and they do this all the time. It actually gets on my nerves, but it says three goals with a through ball using a right mid player in squad battles on at least semi-pro. Um, in our case, it would be Chuck Weezy, who we're actually using we're completing his objective and we're using him to complete the objective. Once again, you do not have to use him. These two, same with the left mid, does not have like a La Liga thing on it. It does not have to be with a La Liga player. So if you do have a good right mid or left mid in your main team, you may as well use him. And then you've got score using La Liga players in five separate wins. Simple as, lads, remember uh, the bench, custom tactics, chemistry styles, and as well, refresh your squad battle opponents, play the worst team each time. It's been your boy Davis. Once again, any unanswered questions, let me know down below, and I'll see you boys in the next one. Peace out, lads.